Hey everybody, it's been a while since we've seen this sort of uh, game, but it's back. Although I am going to have to restart. It's probably for the best considering how choppy the footage was before. But considering that all the all the save that I had was pretty much deleted when I swapped over to a new computer, this is kind of for the best. Um, I've got a lot of memory space. It's quiet in the house right now. Everything is just fine. The best part is, is I actually have an Xbox controller here with me. Uh, so, I'm actually playing this on my computer using the Xbox with a wireless thing, which is probably for the best. Doesn't mean I have to recharge the battery so often, but this is fully charged right now, so it should be fine. At least for a few hours. Hopefully we'll get quite a bit of footage and I can put this up. Um, beyond that, I am playing through the tutorial because I've been messing around with the buttons trying to figure out, uh, what button does what. For some reason view was on X instead of Y. I don't know, it just makes sense that the top button or the head action is on the Y button because that's the top. I don't know. Good. It's just that sort of thing. I could do this the first time as well. So far we're sticking to the script I guess. Let's see how did this go? Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to. Excuse me. Out, out of the way. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm playing this just Steam, and I should mention I well had some problems starting it. Um, if you want to start it, you're going to have to actually the go into... The Animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. You're going to have to go into Low the Xbox... Low profile and high profile. Uh, not the Xbox, but the... Low profile actions Steam, are socially uh, acceptable. Folder and then run. High profile actions this are more action-oriented. Uh, Hold up the high profile button to see how your heads-up display changes the context of the puppeteering input. Excellent. Uh, not to run the game whenever I try to run it straight through Steam, but at least I found a way. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Well, uh, feel sorry for this guy. Excuse me. Good. It's like a really slow fall where you know. Using your legs oh, button in high good. profile will allow you to sprint. I guess that's Sprinting kind of is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing fall. target. However, be careful not to bump into stairs, anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. He walks, doesn't he? This is this is a tutorial, so it's kinda of... No he doesn't. Well done. Made it, but barely. <laughs> oh, really awesome. The Animus will also provide other important information. Black flag on the social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states but, uh, will be explained in context I soon. I think I kind of like that. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. So to illustrate the change in awareness level, you will like stealth like assassinate like this soldier. Right First, now. lock onto your I'll target. The tutorial, because we've done this before. We've done this whole thing before. No. Now, select your focus. hidden blade. Lock on. Change a lot of the buttons. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. There's a dead guy. Right How'd that happen? Where are you? Uh, was it really 
it wasn't me, man. Come on. Don't don't look at me like that. The no. dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed as represented by the red witness indicator. God, these, these Aggressive models, actions think, uh, or socially uh, unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Like sword blade. Mount, mountain ah. blade. That's it. Mountain blade. You'll never get away. That's right. Yeah, I made this. The character model here is excellent. Blade. The line of sight has like been a, broken. Now run screen. into the roof garden right. to hide Blades from the soldier. Kind of Good. Like Your social status indicates that you are hidden. The soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. Or you can kill him and drag him into that thing, I think. That's right. You do well to hide. I can kill you at any time, buddy. I mean... Well I've seen done. Combat the soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. I would, but you're not letting me exit the hide spot. Excellent. Being anonymous will fill your uh, synchronization okay. bar and make so your job as an assassin I'm easier. I'm glad that they did this because there are different honestly, places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, uh, kind of and then use a hide like spot to vanish. Let us continue with the demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Yeah, this is blending. I'm the only guy that looks like this. Now it's still pretty stupid. It Good. Is, uh... Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by respecting uh, the creed. You, um, you so have successfully mine. completed the tutorial. To the most the, stable uh, memory block will now be loaded. It's basically like um, Firefly. Uh, Wait! It's kind of like Firefly there must be another way. Scale. This one need not die. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. American. It, what is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. 
All that matters is the Master considers it important, else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. I'm guessing that they decided that the character should be American because, I don't know, we're an audience. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Sable. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Templars, you are not the only ones with business here. Ah, well, this explains my missing man. And yeah, what is it you want? Blood. No! You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. That was kind of just gore for the sake of gore, but at the same time, I guess I can understand why they did that. seeing this perspective a whole lot of just me looking at a wall <laughs> trying to figure out can I go up this way what about this way over here no okay how about over here skipping part of memory to a more recent one please do maybe now we'll get to see like the cutscenes without skipping I'm sorry about that last time Altair, you've returned! Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. Very 
very obvious thing like is. Where is he going? Be in a hurry. Where, like, some of these outfits are four men, six five, or something like that. I'm on my way up the hill again. I'm not gonna get lost this time. I hope. 